A local family of five is moving into a pop up camper because they can't find anywhere that will rent to them with their pit bull. They don't want to give up the family dog, but they're feeling pressured right now. News First 5's Matt Stafford has one of your stories. Missy Mueller is hearing the same thing over and over while looking for a place to rent. Do you take pets? Absolutely. Um, what about a pit bull? Oh, no. She doesn't see her eight year old pit bull Jane the same way they do. They're a big poster dog for drug dealers and gang. But Mueller says Jane has been nothing but sweet in the seven years that they've had her. So now with their lease up, Mueller and her family are still hearing landlords say no pit bulls. We have as of yet nowhere to move into, so everything's in storage and that's where my family, my kids are going to be living. It's one of those things you just don't need, you don't want for your kids. And it's just ridiculous because it's not like we can get rid of her. She's a member of our family for starters, but the rescues are full, the, the shelters are full. There's nowhere for her to be. Pit bulls stereotypically have maybe been categorized as a, a breed that's more prone to risk. Property manager Brad Butler says he's rented to pit bull owners before, but for him, each pet goes on a case-by-case -case basis. Really the goal for us is to minimize the risk for our owner clients. I think you have to take the whole package into consideration and uh, you match the breed with the home that's being applied for. Butler says you could use technology to help yourself out, like with your phone. You could use the camera to shoot some video of your dog to show the landlord, or you could have your landlord call your veterinarian for a reference. Mueller says she's asked for managers to meet her dog, but no luck. Now she doesn't know what to do. How long do you think that you could be in there? A while, but at least it's summer. And she says it's hard to find the positive, but at least her family is still together. Matt Stafford, News First 5. And we asked what you thought about this on Facebook tonight. Julianne said, quote, please don't make this a pit bull discrimination thing. Most landlords aren't thrilled about pets, especially a big dog. April says, I can relate. My husband and I have a one and a half year old German Shepherd and had to move due to our dog. Cheryl said, we have a Great Dane and the only places we can go are properties that are for rent by owner. David says he had several rental properties and wouldn't accept pit bulls because of the liability issue. If you'd like to join in the conversation, just search News First 5 on Facebook.